like we always do at this time. First of all, I'd like to give a shout out to all the officers yesterday that was doing their jobs. Man, fuck y'all. Fuck out of here. Because I don't, you know what? I'm about a million and one things. If you're right, you're right. But when you wrong me, motherfucker, you wronged me. Don't ever put a gun in my fucking face and then motherfucker tell me that I need to chill. I'm being irrational. Yeah, I'm being fucking ira- irrational when you put a fucking pistol in my motherfucking face. And like I told these motherfuckers yesterday, God damn it, a bitch ain't never pull no gun in my motherfucking face and we hold out and, be- and, and we hug out and was friends after that. No, it was nothing but a fucking beef. So don't ever think that we could ever be cool on any fucking level after you put a gun in my fucking face. And it's just like that. It's fucking just like that. Word up. Then anybody, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this here. May, may these motherfuckers have known who I was yesterday. Because one of them threw up in my face. Yeah, we know you do the podcasting. How is the podcasting thing going? It's going great, motherfucker. It's going great, bitch. How's being a dickhead going? How's being an asshole going? Those was the questions that was in my motherfucking mind. How's being a dickhead today going? Like I supposed to have been like, oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Ooh. I don't give a fuck. And like I told y'all, and I swear to God, I'm going to get the video. My man down the street said they recorded it. I'm going to show y'all a video so people won't be like, yo, that nigga did that for views. Oh, he tried. Man, I swear to God. I just happened to be funny because when he said this shit, like, oh, yeah, how is the podcasting going? Oh, it's going fucking beautiful. So when he said that shit, my lawyer stepped in, was like, yo, why are y'all detaining him? And it was like, oh, we're not detaining him. Right? Then he goes, oh, can we hold him? No, you can't fucking hold me. Just for a minute? No, you can't hold me. And then now after that, I gets my phone, so I threw out the text like, yo, free cars, free cars to die. But I was in custody. Like, I wasn't in custody, but I was at the police department, me and my attorney. But said, but then these motherfuckers want some, oh, see, this is what I was trying to tell people. You know what? I was trying to tell people that. They passed a bill that changed a lot of shit. They just passed another bill. So for all the people who said you're not voting, this is a direct fucking hit of you not voting that's going on. How they changed all the bills. How now they saying that um, the people's getting a little $500. They cut all that shit. That shit is done for. They ain't trying to give you none. These people don't want to help you. These people ain't trying to help us. Just this the U.S. What the, I don't know what that U.S. stand for, but that U.S. really ain't standing for us right now. This should be them. This state should be, they, this country should be called them. Not no fucking U.S. And then my friends like, yo, one of my niggas get mad and start saying shit. Like, motherfucking, like, these young boys out here dying at a rapid fucking rate, man. And then when you get a motherfucker that's trying to help the situation, y'all motherfuckers do what y'all did yesterday? Then try to make it like, you gonna make me a motherfucking snitch? Y'all been doing this shit. Man, they been doing this shit to young black men for so fucking long. If you don't step for something, you will fall for any fucking thing. And I'm not saying this about all cops like, oh, shoot the police and kill the police. No, it's not like that. Because you want me to tell you what's so crazy about this shit? What happened yesterday? This wasn't even the fucking police chasing me. This shit ain't had shit to do with no fucking police. You feel me? But they made this shit seem like it was really the police. This is what I'm telling y'all. Y'all got to watch some of this shit that happens and some of this shit that's on video. That shit be staged, bro. You got different departments of the motherfuckers. The goddamn courthouse be acting like they the goddamn police. Y'all ain't no fucking police. You work at the courthouse, bro. Fuck is you doing? Fuck is this? Y'all. You know what? You know what? I saw it all yesterday to believe now. Some of this shit that we see, even when we see people in the courthouse, 
Because I saw some shit yesterday, my nigga. I don't care what nobody say. They built a fucking courtroom for me yesterday, man. That shit was not real. They wouldn't even give me a paper so that I went to fucking court. Fucking Illuminati want my mind, soul, and my body. Secret society trying to keep the army. Hey, bitch, we infamous. My team is like a tidal wave. You getting back smacked so hard, we make your nose bleed. Now you know what? Now you know what? See, I was, you know what? I was trying to stay on some cool shit. Word up. But then, like I'm trying to tell y'all, these people don't never want us to look out for our youth. I don't give a fuck what the youth is. They don't want us to look out for our youth. They want us to turn our back on our youth. And then the more I see it be saying this shit, it's like these motherfuckers tried to test me for who I am. And then they make it like, oh, if you look, oh, you want to look out for them so bad? This was you. This was going to happen. As if I supposed to say, fuck the dead people or fuck the youth. Oh, the youth is dead. I don't care. That's, that's how they trying to make it seem up here. And that's why I'm trying to tell y'all, it's time we start mentoring our young brothers. Not trying to let these motherfuckers put them in jail and they making money off them kids going to jail. This up and putting 5G shit out here. Got motherfuckers running around acting crazy as hell. That's we don't know why the country going crazy. But then they made everybody cop a 5G phone. My shit 5G now. I ain't got no fucking 5G phone. I got this bitch sitting on my leg. This bitch got my leg burning. This bitch got my leg burning. God damn it. This shit got my whole leg burning. A fucking 5G. And do you wonder why these motherfuckers right here going crazy? Why everybody so goddamn loose? Wake up, people. This shit is real. And like I said, they want us to turn our back on our youths so they can use them as fucking chess pieces. Send their asses back and forth to prisons. And, and, and understand this here. Why your son and your, your kids is in jail in the prison system. Ain't nobody. You is not getting nothing off that. Why your son could be productive home. You could be teaching them how to get, get trades and go to school and, make, and work and take care of themselves. Instead, you doing that, they they taking the time out to put them in a jail cell. They have them in there fighting each other, living in fucking filth. They have them eating like fucking dogs and pigs. And they make money off your child. They're making money off your kid. Then I'm watching all these mothers out here crying about their sons dying. Man, those black men can't even stick up for our youth no more. That shit is done. They just showed that shit. When you try to step up for the youth, and, and basically what they told me, just mind your business and let it happen, whatever happens. And, 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 and not that shit. I mean, it would have been better if we could have had our own justice like I keep trying to tell these gang niggas. Man, we need y'all, bro. We don't got no police. Straight like that, I'm going to say it again. We got no fucking police, bro. They tweaking. Like I said, this shit, this some shit from last year. Motherfuckers up here ain't solving no murder cases, technically. Except for if it's a young black man. Either they gonna send him to jail or kill him. That's what's been happening. Either they been dying or going to jail. Ain't nobody mentoring nobody. Ain't nobody put nobody in no programs. Ain't nobody get nobody no positive trades. They stay sending the kids to goddamn trades. Or oh, prison. So I send them to a goddamn schooling system so they can learn. Make it, okay, well, we're going to give you this. Other. If you don't go to school and finish this course and that course and this course, we're going to send you to jail. This they say, oh, we're going to put you on probation and you go pay them and we make money off your child. So it's still organized slavery at its finest. When is we going to break the chains? When is the chains going to break us? The niggas think it's all about Fucking rappers. I mean, I ain't gonna say nothing bad. Like, it ain't about the rappers. But it's more going on than rappers getting killed. Our youths are dying at alarming rates. It ain't nothing we can do about it. I'm, I'm living proof. There's nothing you can do about it. If you try to do something, they're gonna make it so hard for you that you ain't gonna wanna be bothered with trying to help nobody. Because to help a person don't mean that I got to be a fucking snitch. That shit right there is the epitome. Then a bitch chasing me all around town and trying to play me. Y'all they kind of funny. Like I said, these people wasn't even the police that did this yesterday. They built, they, they, they orchestrated a whole fake fucking courtroom for me to try to tell me A, B, C, D. You know you better come do this. If not, you're in trouble. I don't got no fucking writing. I don't got that shit in writing saying I did nothing. 
I never got a court paper saying I went to jail. Where the fuck do they do this at? Nigga, I've been going to jail since I was little. I never went to jail and got out of a jail at any type of holding facility. Even if I, even if they, even if I wouldn't pay my bell at the window. I got a paper saying I just paid that bell. Even if I got, you get an OR, they give you a paper saying, yo, you got released because of ABC. You got who ordered to do ABC. These people orchestrated a courtroom for me yesterday. Y'all got to wake up, bro. Y'all think because y'all see this shit on TV. Y'all think because these people motherfucking keep on saying that. Oh, look, he's in the courtroom. Man, listen. The little bit of people they had in that courtroom with dirt in them, they did just that to me yesterday. And they made this shit up. There's no proof that yo, my people was at the jail like, yo, where Kyle's at? We, we came in for Kyle. He's not here. He's not here. We don't know what you're talking about. Yo, man. I'm going to say this one more time before I go. Because I don't know how much y'all going to be hearing me no more, man. A little minority on my mind, soul, and my body. Secret society trying to keep the army. My, t- my team is infamous. We like a fucking tidal wave. You get back smacked so hard we make your nose bleed. Back on the real side of things. Back on the real side of things. Rest in peace, prodigy. I seen some shit, my nigga, yesterday. They, yo, that shit with King Von, I see how they fucked his head up. And, and yo, check this out. Let me tell you something about that lady. That lady was a district attorney, right? That lady was a district attorney. That lady got access. This lady got access to courtrooms, holding cells. Can even place you in different jails if she want to. I never knew this shit. Now it gets deep. Now, yo, whoever don't listen to this, don't listen. Cause I just did it. I just seen this shit happen myself, so I know that it could really happen. Even the deputies knew that, that when they seen them walking me through, that these people really ain't had me in custody. They ain't even want no parts of it. They didn't even want to touch me. <clears throat> they didn't even want to say shit to me. They was looking at them shaking their head. And they knew they couldn't hold me there long as they probably do some people and place them. Because you could place, like, like, listen, that lady was a district attorney or attorney, whatever. She could place people in jail cells and say, I want to place them here. For, for a witness hold or whatever, whatever. And they going to place them there and hold you however long they want them to. So what I saw yesterday, it scared me. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I ain't going to lie. Because I thought the feds was after me. But then when I see what it is, and then when they took me where they took me, and then they made up a fake courtroom with a fake judge. The judge said, oh, and if you A, B, and C, you're going to have hell to pay. Nigga, where's my court docs? But you know what? You know what? I'm going to leave it right here for now. That's one for y'all to think on. Don't believe these people when they show y'all people in court's room, bro. Because all they got to do is get down with a person like that lady, Nicole. Nicole Mormon. And they can get access to courtrooms and everything to fake all and get a fake judge to sit there and put on a black robe and have a fake judge to sit there. If ain't nobody around to catch it. This is, this, yo, oh my God, I just seen some crazy shit yesterday. I ain't even been to sleep back yet since yesterday. I've just been ripping and running all day. I took a couple of naps. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not just running all stupid. I did, I did go to sleep. But, like, my mind's so fucked up for what I saw yesterday. I just keep getting up like, wow, wow. Because, you know, I know what the fuck I saw yesterday. And I know that shit was fake. And then they try to out like, oh, well, you know, nigga, it's against the law what you just did. Y'all just, y'all just falsely, y'all detained me, y'all, y'all basically kidnapped me. They kidnapped me. You kidnapped me because you helped me against my will. You helped me against my will. People wake up, y'all. Shit is real. I'm telling y'all now, shit is real. These people playing a dirty game. Guess who they playing it on? You guessed it.